Hey guys, Keith again with Bulletproof RC. And this is my one-tenth scale Axial Yeti. Last week I put an aluminum Exotech chassis on this vehicle. That new piece of hardware has gotten me excited for the Yeti again. Pulled it off the shelf, dusted it off. I've been going through it and um, freshening things up a little bit. Um, I want to catch you guys up on what I've done. First of all, I put some Proline uh, tires on this vehicle. These are 2.2 flat iron XLs. Uh, they are very, very soft, nice tires. They've got good width to them, and they're uh, pretty tall. Um, inside, I've got some uh, Proline dual stage foams, which are purchased separately. Uh, included with the tire is just a single stage uh, soft foam. Uh, the wheels I chose were some, um, these are knockoffs of the Vanquish uh, KMC Bully wheels. Uh, purchased all four of these off of eBay for 60 bucks. They come with everything including an SLW350 hub, which is pretty cool. Uh, pretty good deal. Um, I did purchase um, three sets of tires because I wanted to go with a spare on the back. To me, a spare on the back of the Yeti is just common sense. It, it actually does a great job at counterbalancing this vehicle. Um, watch some videos, guys, on YouTube. You'll see that a lot of running footage of the Yeti, it is nose heavy out of the box. Spare tire on the back makes this thing fly straight. Now you can do um, you know, weight distribution in a lot of different ways, and in fact, I did. You know, I've got a lot of aluminum in the, re in the rear and also uh, some stainless steel uh, links and so forth in the back to even out the weight distribution. But this is a simple and easy way considering that in the kit uh, they give you a tire rack that you can mount on this vehicle straight up. So pretty good. Uh, this is a body that I painted up quite a while ago, but I've never featured it on the channel. In fact, I've never really given this body any runtime. It's just a stock Axial Yeti body, uh, but I did paint it with um, Duratrax metallic blue paint, and I had um, a friend of mine make these uh, decals. Yes, the stripes and the, all the the artwork on the side are all decals. So, uh, but but they are they're really nice. Uh, if you're interested in having some decals made, I've got a great person that can make them. So uh, just let me know. Um, let me pull the body off show you a couple other things I've done since last week. Okay under the hood I've made a few changes to the electronics. I had a Hobbywing SC8 sensorless ESC and a 3100 kV 550 size motor in this vehicle and I've changed it up. I put a uh, SCT Pro 120 amp sensored ESC piece of grass there uh, and paired it with a 8 scale Exa run 4068-2250 kV motors, 40 millimeters in diameter and 68 millimeters in length. Now uh, this is a little bit longer motor than the 550 and um, uh, with this um, Exotech chassis, uh, you get that little carbon fiber plate that goes back here. I opted out on that. I put it in last week, uh, but uh, since I had made this battery modification and I had cut a piece of that, that thick Lexan to um, make my own batteries, uh, battery mount here. Uh, I did take that out and for, since the aluminum is recessed where that goes, I put some spacers underneath the Lexan to support the battery tray. So uh, it'll make more sense if you watch my last video on how I modified this battery and that'll completely make sense to you. Uh, change the servo out as well. Um, I'm a huge high-tech Savox fan. Um, but I've never tried JX. I've heard about them. I've heard great things about them. But um, this servo is uh, quite a bit more powerful than the one I had in there last week. I think the last one I had last week is a Power Hobby. I think it's rated at somewhere around 300 inch ounces of torque. This one is rated at over 400 inch ounces of torque at 8.4 volts. So it's a bad boy. And it's not uh, too bad either. Uh, as far as speed, it's uh, 0 0.09 uh, transit speed, so it's got uh, got some good speed to it as well. Uh, other than that, all I've done since last week is 
this chassis was so beautiful I didn't want to mess it up on the first run so I cut another piece of that Lexan out and uh, made a chassis protector now uh, uh, T-Bone makes a great chassis protector for the factory chassis I ran that on it since uh, since this vehicle was new a year and a half ago and it's just done a great job but the T-Bone chassis protector uh, it would it might fit this with some modifications but the screw holes didn't match up and all that so made my own uh, just took a piece uh, a sharpie and uh, a, a ruler and marked off the edges cut it with a jigsaw drilled out some holes and put some recess in there so that way we could countersink the screws and I was really really surprised at how well uh, the Lexan met, met up with the uh, the bumper it's a very smooth transition from bumper to the uh, Lexan, so it should do a pretty good job on protecting that chassis. So anyway, that'll do it for this video, guys. Just wanted to catch you guys up on where I'm at and I uh, wanted to share in case you're interested in this Exotech chassis and freshening up your Yeti like I am. Um, this is how mine sits. Let's see yours. Uh, as always, like and subscribe to Shoe Fits, my friends, and have yourself a great day.